Reason number one to not astrally project. The possibility of entities and spirits will follow you home. Astral projection. Why you shouldn't do it. Time in the spirit world varies. Um, some places time can move super fast. Other places, a second here could be a thousand years there. So the possibility of aging your mind is a very real possibility. Reason number three not to astrally project. After a duration of time, you will trigger it spontaneously at night while you're sleeping. And it is exhausting. Reason number four not to use astral projection. It can be quite addictive and it is an intense form of escapism. It's said one is not punished for your sins. One is punished by their sins. Reason number five to not use astral projection. What's your least favorite horror movie? Now imagine being trapped in it. Yeah. I'd assume you're a Christian and you pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit every day, right? That's a form of possession. But as far as wandering evil spirits, I need you to be more specific. Because the vast majority of entities would not want to be in a body. Why would you want to be confined into a lamp or a vessel like some genie out of a Disney movie when you have the entire universe before you? Believe it or not, we aren't that special in the grand scheme of things. Humans aren't the apple of God's eye. We're just a small project. And as far as a void goes, nature abhors a vacuum. Reason number six not to use astral projection. With infinite beauty comes infinite health. You would be surprised at how shocked and terrified spirits are of us. The third time I actually projected, my head got stuck in the ceiling. Yeah, that's a thing. Fun fact, you see that piece of art on your wall? You can astrally project into that. There's no greater terror than being out there for the second or third time in the spirit world and watching your hands dissolve like candle wax. When you astrally project, a lot of lower level kind of things will run and hide. Go figure. And usually the more powerful stuff will not be anywhere near our world. I'm sure all my witch friends out there, you including Mistopheles, that salt is a witch's best friend or an occultist's best friend. Um, not only does it help make circles around one's home, windows, doors, pulls negative energy, but also... It's something that one can use to remove these entities in various ways.